Hello, and this is Coach Marcus. I would like to introduce uh, one of my first clients, uh, Alice. She, um, well, she's my wife, so I have a lot of insights. Um, I know her really well as well. Um, she, well, history uh, about her. She exercised. She always exercised since she is really young. Uh, she was doing horse riding and also a lot of yoga and Pilates because her mom is uh, a yoga instructor. Um, she has been exercising also through uh, her university years, doing also horse riding on the team and doing competitions. And also just going usually uh, maybe two or three times at the gym, uh, mainly running. Um, uh, when we met, uh, still in a young age, like on her early 20s, she started uh, doing training with me. We went, well, we were doing classes on CrossFit. Um, maybe three years after that, three, four years after that, she injured herself on the shoulder. It was a serious um, injury and she had to have surgery. Uh, it's been at least a couple of years since she had, well, three years since she had the injury and um, a couple of years or a full year since uh, she had uh, surgery. She had been doing a lot of rehab and now uh, we want to step up her fitness and she want to really focus on uh, overall fitness but working on the strength and the strength component. I have been um, programming for her previously and what we have been doing is a lot of uh, rehab, also full body work and mainly dumbbell and kettlebells. Now we want to step up and want to get into the dumbbell, into the barbell work. So she has been doing at least uh, three times per week full body training and now uh, the goal for her is get back to her fitness, previous fitness, and we will be at least doing three to four times a week, but we will start now breaking down um, uh, push and pull and then also like squatting um, lunge or hip hinge pattern as well. So let's get started. So we started with a OPEX body and uh, we weighed Alice and she's uh, 56 kilos. She's, I have to uh, tell all of this in centimeters and kilograms because I'm European. Uh, height uh, 162 and the measurements I got that here, we measure the waist, the hip and the neck. We use the um, American formula, the Navy formula, to uh, get her uh, body fat, uh, mass fat and lean mass and uh, gave me all the stats. She is pretty lean in my opinion, uh, her body fat is pretty low, uh, she usually um, is really careful with her nutrition. She's a doctor and she has a lot of knowledge. Uh, she always did that all her life because have um, have been said before that her mom also is a yoga instructor. Uh, well, at home always they have uh, a lot of knowledge and they were really careful with their nutrition in general. Uh, better than myself, if I'm, if I'm honest. Um, but her and uh, nutrition is kind of plant based. We will get them a bit later. Um, sometimes she lacks nutrition. So based on the measurements, uh, her goal it is really just maintenance. Um, she would like to build also some strength. So she knows that she will be like building some muscle and will be keeping a normal diet. Based on that, just 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% uh, fat. We will balance that as we need, but um, overall you will be eating just, you know, um, a lot of vegetables, uh, try to get some uh, protein sources uh, because she don't want that much meat, um, fish and some uh, soya beans or a lot of legumes and, and optional could be uh, these vegan products, but we are not also that really fun because usually they're like high process. So we try to get the most healthy source that we can get. Um, yeah. So thinking of 
how we'll be moving forward with uh, OPEX body. Uh, as I said, uh, the main goal is maintenance, and the BNR of her will be uh, 1,132 uh, plus a 10% 113. Uh, the need, we put 300 and the excellence is 300. Um, it's quite high, but she exercises a lot and on her um, exercise. Um, we have been talking about that she will try to exercise uh, at least four times, four times a week. So I guess uh, we can keep this type of uh, nutrition. Let's talk about uh, OPEX MOV. OPEX MOV, uh, she passed all the movements. Um, but we can mention that on her scratch test, she have uh, some tightness on the shoulder. Uh, the right shoulder shows some winking uh, when she tried to touch her scapula. Um, she's working already with an individual uh, physiotherapist to improve her internal rotation. She had lack of internal rotation and that's why she got that um, injury before. Uh, we have been talking about that maybe the ring of motion will never get back to normal because of that. Uh, but doing tests with the physiotherapist, it looks like the ring of motion is uh, back to normal, saying like... Um, Left to right variation is, is good. Um, we did toe touch, was perfect. Squatting, good. Lunge pattern was good as well. Um, single leg races, uh, good movement, uh, nothing wrong with that. And then on the reverse, um, right, front leaning plank, perfect, 60 seconds with really good form. On the reverse, then she show again that this couple of and retraction. Um, it was quite difficult for her to maintain this retraction on the shoulder um, and this left to right it felt some imbalance. One of the sides was a lot stronger. Uh, she did maintain 60 seconds and I think on the video it looks like she had a really good position. Um, it was that she need to be really aware of keep retracting the shoulder because she felt quite uh, fatigued and she was like letting it go. So I have to give uh, some cues uh, for her to like keep, keep that strength. And then she mentioned that when we complete the side plank, that she did complete uh, 90 seconds, uh, she felt some stiffness of the neck. Um, we want to focus on improving her strength overall. And I think uh, the main thing will be um, upper body strength after the shoulder injury will be working with a um, lot of dumbbells uh, ob overhead and will be like starting uh, loading with barbell as well, probably just empty barbell, working on volume. Um, working on volume will be overall also on deadlifting and squatting because she is now like almost coming back from sur surgery, even if she exercise, uh, she needs now fo focus more on form and she is like really keen on doing that. She don't have any any pressure to get back uh, on her fitness uh, as fast as possible. She only wants to focus on don't hurt herself again. So we will be monitoring basically weekly because she's also really demanding. Um, yeah, and based of her feeling when she exercise, um, if she can maintain really good form, really overhead, that is the main thing. Uh, we'll be just keep moving forward with that. If she uh, feel any discomfort, we will try to work only with dumbbells and we will avoid any barbell work. So we will see if the prescription that we will have now from the beginning uh, moving forward will continue or maybe in a month we have to uh, change it. So we talk about now um, Open's work. She spent 10 minutes on the airbike and she was not really fan of that. Uh, 97 calories in total, I think it's pretty good. Um, we were talking that, well, she, she had been doing a lot of uh, bike uh, because she couldn't really exercise at the beginning so much with the upper body. So she had been just sitting on the bike and pedaling. Uh, I think obviously she got advantage of that and then show um, a really good performance with open work uh, because she had a lot of experience. Um, and I give also a few tips. Uh, we knew that probably she could be keeping up by 
ish average getting this uh, 55 revolutions per minute on the bike and she managed really well uh, show some fatigue I think on the minute seven um, by kind off because she really proud of herself and uh, she can push it all the way through and she keep it quite flat all the way uh, as I said before she have a lot of knowledge from uh, training all her life and and she knew how to pace herself uh, with a few cues as well from me then I think it was really successful opens work um, how we uh, work now from here so we will start really uh, doing some running as well uh, let's see how the shoulder um, give feedback from that because sometimes even with running you can have some stiffness of the shoulder and we'll be like mixing in between uh, running and map 9, map, map 10, map 8 as well so we will we will start from there and uh, moving forward uh, probably mixing uh, on and off or even even odd one week will be running um, one week will be map 10, map 9 really um, then we will be mixing that with the strength work